AJ, how you feel about that discussion they had on Fig Munity World about your appearance on Community? I think T Rail ain't understand <laughs> ain't understand you like to say shit to niggas' faces. Hashtag office hours. Yeah, you pretty much summed it up pretty perfectly right there, nigga. Yeah. They were trying to make the argument that it's better to talk about somebody when they're not there as opposed to saving what you that have to say. That was a strange argument they were trying to, to make, face. yeah. Because after I did Community, um, they covered me on Shame on You. Okay. And he thought that I was holding back and not shitting on you to AD. But that wasn't, he was, he was confused because Sharp's name came up. Uh -huh. And that's who I said... I might see him this week, so I'd rather just wait. Okay. This yeah, but, but, I, but, yeah, but he thought, was confused by many things. But he thought I was talking about you. Mm. It's like, he had a couple confusing, he was confused about a couple things about what, yeah. about me and what we do. I'll clarify it when I get home, unless we sit down before. If that, you but. were to do like a, a CAT scan of his brain, it would be this like a, a, a donkey and like a ball of yarn. And next yeah, one. <laughs> Not a lot going on up there. Instead of play the spaghetti. You're doing with the ball <laughs> just, uh, what the fuck? just some Play-Doh. Like. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, every time you fight, you joke about T-Rail, it's, it's something like I know you feel good about it. Yeah. I'm happy yeah. for you. It's, but it's I, like I, when you I see wish, it's like when you see your op die and you love it, but it's no, like watching your op no, slowly die. Your girl tried in front to find, of a bunch of people. Your girl tried to find a new nigga, but she ended up it's not working out. It's yeah, like she's yeah. getting fucking. She thought she was good. I she thought get she was it though good. because it works so well. The mm, tro his yeah. trolling is too. It works too well. Mm. It, it, you know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing, bro. <laughs> That's one thing. Ignore, yeah. the Drake and Kendrick thing. I would rather do like like I wish I could do like artful like weird little references that would just barely could... get picked up by the reddit and then right. they'll, i have to analyze oh, yeah. it but instead i gotta just ah! <laughs> yeah 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 you that's all i got nah, but you yeah. also, i can't be subtle you are sort of like an acupuncturist to where it's like you precisely hitting the nerve that you need to hit every time mm, i know his spot his soft spots i made him like basically cry on camera multiple times just by talking about him <laughs> it's pretty brutal i'm not gonna lie all right, well, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you really needed that meeting with your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> this might be totally different. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing all his therapy yeah, right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Adam misses his, his therapy uh, appointment today. And <laughs> He's getting his shit off now. Yo, there's a famous podcaster that I got the same therapist as. For real? Yes, and I only know that because I got her by asking him. But now I've been talking to this chick for fucking five years. So it's like, oh, damn. I can't say. Not on it's camera. Like, I feel like I should also have like... Even though there this is, person is open about doing that, that is true. That would be, but for some reason, it feels like it would up. be weird to confide that with the public, even yeah. if it's not on camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, yeah. it's totally fine. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. somebody's medical record. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. kind of feels like it feels, it feels like a illegal. violation of patient uh, confidentiality. Exactly. Yeah. Even yeah. though it's totally not, because it's like, yeah. she, like I, I'll bring him up once on a blue moon on, in, during therapy, and she won't say shit. But that's you. You know, she she can't say anything. But that's therapy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, fuck this dude. Hashtag office hours. How do y'all feel about RG3 getting replaced on ESPN with uh, Travis Kelsey brother? Makes sense seeing how he's also a co-host on Menace <laughs> Serial Entertainment. That is a great one. That's so convoluted, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds I mean, funny. I don't I, get it, though. <laughs> so, I look like RG3. Look like up RG3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm RG3. laughing at the RG3. fuck you before you read it. That's why yeah. I'm laughing. I've even, heard it I'll before. Say, it's I'll like, say, damn, he's catching him a this motherfucker catching a stray. I don't even know what happened. RG3. <laughs> <laughs> what did this motherfucker look like? <sighs> a fan. But nah, oh um, I don't know. Um, yeah, how you feel about that? ESPN? Nigga, I don't even watch that shit. I feel like you've gotten a lot more Wiz Khalifas than RG3, though. We left uh, Outback. Dude was like, yo, I thought you was Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, yeah. You definitely like, got a nigga. lot more Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> you were miscellaneous looking like, Wiz, black You thought dude. he was going to be an Outback? Yeah, I Essentially. Guess, I guess he's living a regular life. But uh, as that go off as I was... Just watch Shame on You and Pun seem like he uh, high key hating on AJ. It's as if he didn't know AJ before and after you left, he watched every homeroom episode about him and got butt hurt. He didn't say no more. Well, he didn't say more, so he said it on FMW. What was the vibe like before and after the camera cut? And why do you guys think the West Coast is so isolated and disconnected from what's happening in the rest of the country? I actually wanted to know that too because when you went on there, it seemed like you and Pun had like y'all was sparring, but it was it was pretty culture overall. Was, yeah, me and Pun had a great yeah, me and Pun had a great conversation. But then as soon as you left and he went on at Fig Munity World, that nigga hated you again. He, I don't think Pun hates me. You Pun, think he was playing? He realized that, what happened. That's his character. Yeah, 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 that's his character. Like the conversation, Pun might hate me, right? But when me and Pun spoke, we didn't. 
people were people were trying to make it seem like in Reddit. Of course, they're trying to make it seem like. AJ press pun, but we had a great conversation. I think you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I really do think we did. It was beautiful. Yeah. Like what I did with Sharp is that was completely different. Like I'm pressing Sharp. Like me and Pun were actually he was answering every question. <laughs> he might have been trying to like wiggle out of some of them, but I was able to redirect him back into that motherfucker get, too big to wiggle. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, yeah bro. But he That's also told he, he also said in that um, community appearance he said, bro, like this is a character that I'm playing. Bro, Pun is seems like a pretty nice guy, honestly. Pretty seemed pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So even when he did the shame on you, like I lit, when he was like. I wouldn't have had a motherfucker at my house though. That shit made me laugh. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I do. I don't expect him to say anything less than that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't expect him to be like, I don't know who he is, but yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's not even a jab at you. That's a jab at AD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's yeah. I think Pun is playing the exact position that he's supposed to play. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Punstigator, right? Shout out the Pun. And is Pun cool? Pun like a regular dude. I You've mean, known him for a little bit longer. <laughs> it's funny because like uh, there's rap videos I could show you. There's there's one where like th I knew of him from this for like years before I met him, which is in the video. He's like, "Crip lives matter, cool." Oh, for real? So if you just knew oh, him from that, that video, video you would think video. he was the most epic. I seen that. You think he was like Crip back or something? Right, right, right. But right. I mean, honestly, every time I would be around him, he'd pretty chill. He just but he's he chill. just is like you. I mean, everybody sees it at this point. He's like in here tinkering and instigating shit and yeah. like he's hyping up people to talk about how they fuck T-Rail's girl and all this shit mm -hmm. all the shit that you would like expect him to, to anybody that's like doing business together right. to not do right. which actually is very revelatory to me because he used to be basically be doing that shit from the, the other side like while AD was still in the podcast mm. and I was like how the fuck could this dude be like trying to that's a big part of like why shit started to get weird at the end yeah. but now when I look at it it's like He's doing that to people that he's like currently doing yeah. content so with. That, he's, that I don't think he has like real animosity towards T. Rod. I think he's just like he wants to make content. He yeah. doesn't know any other way. Yeah, yeah. That, so he's yeah. got to fucking do this. It's just in it's, him. That's just yeah. how he does it. But that's, I think that's who he is. All those dudes are kind of scared of him too, so they won't tell him like, "Yo, don't talk about my bitch." Yada yada. Like nobody trying to run the fade with Pun because he's bigger than everybody. Mm, you a a D scared, terrified of Pun. Okay, I, don't I was know just about, about to. You think that narrative <laughs> of like him that. trying to wedge. Like create a war between y'all, like pun, like between you and AD. Yes, that's true. Yeah, because like, w like can AD, you say a situation? No, because like, AD was trying to get more money, and we had kind of like gotten to the point where, especially this was like during the era where it's like, oh, at the end of the day, sucks now. Like it, it had gotten like really dry towards the end, okay. and they're trying to negotiate and get more money because your relationship he, was. Well, he's yeah. just putting all his effort into streaming. Like if if he hadn't like really embraced the streaming oh, thing, it probably would have last longer. But like they were trying to like get him a raise at one point, and we were basically like, oh, well, I wasn't even involved in the conversation, but Josh was basically like, bro, like we can't. We're we're already like giving you a lot more money than we're actually making from the content that you're making. Yeah. And then it was like after that, pun went to work. And started gotcha. like basically okay. like oh, he saw sewing things that would basically like separate us because you got to think that like Pun was his manager for like many years before No Jumper took him in yeah and he never did anything for him like nothing really happened in AD's career for like four years prior to No Jumper uh, and then he meets we don't me know that's true but no that's a fact and then he meets know. me and then all of a sudden his career starts like really making significant progress but then you're Pun you're his manager you there's nothing that you can bring to the table because mm -hmm. this this deal is already in place right not to mention he's not getting his cut. And so then he goes to work trying to get him a better situation, which when you look at it now, it's like, whoa. Like, Would you ever do content with one? You got fucked. Would you um, ever sit down? You ever see like Hannibal Lecter? Nope. If they yeah, like yeah. wheel him in like on a, <laughs> oh. you know. Because <laughs> you, you're scared of him. with a mask. Because you're scared of him. I'm not scared of him. I said he got us a down. You, you say he needs to be restrained. I, I mean, okay, if Pun said, I wanna, I'll, I'll come there and do a, a podcast with you right now. Okay, yeah. sure. I don't fucking care. So let's okay. do it. Like, what yeah. was he going to say? What's he going to say to me that he hasn't already said on his podcast? I don't give a fuck. I'll That's fucking true. I'll it's, tool on him verbally. Yeah, it'd be a good back and forth, I think. <laughs> Yo, tool yeah. on him. What does that even mean? Tool on him? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I know. feel like you I know was, better than everybody. I feel like I said that at some point during my life. Squabble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's like too, too literal. <laughs> uh, why do you guys think verbally the West Coast squabble. is so isolated and disconnected from what's happening in the rest of the country? I think it's because their culture is so strong and they are the distance and their culture is so strong. They don't need anything that's happening over on the West Coast, on the East Coast mm. or the South. I think it's because they're so close to Asia that they're not paying attention to us. That. Who's close to Asia? The West Coast? Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess you could say that. It's probably like a 15-hour flight or something. Right. But. I feel like Mexico is more relevant in that <laughs> equation. Uh, I'm being hyperbolic. <laughs> but, but okay, my... why do you guys literally, I don't even have to ask, I know that you guys know nothing about hip-hop in France. Not a fucking thing. Wait, hip-hop Except, unless France? those two right. old white guys that do drill are from France. That's London, I think, or okay. somewhere yeah, in the UK. Yeah. But, uh, but I say that just to say, like, as rap fans and really as content consumers in general, like you tend to watch shit that you can relate to. Yeah. The West Coast has a very unique culture that is way it's different. Extremely strong culture. Yeah, I totally wouldn't be surprised at all. I mean, if anything, No Jumper covers like a lot of different like regional rap scenes, but like yeah. if it wasn't for that, how much would I know about the Bronx? I mean, fucking not that much. Are you if one that, of the biggest th- hip hop like LA platforms? He's a big if not the biggest. I mean Vlad. And then I us, know, and then I don't know who else I'd really like. Uh, Vlad, Vlad shit is, is big. Vlad, Vlad shit is like not that regional, and also yeah, he has an office in New York, level. and he'll send a fucking filmer anywhere in the country, uh, so it yeah. doesn't feel a, that regional. Yeah, right? He'll yeah. set up in a Vlad storage is room. CNN. Yeah, mm, that is true. Yeah, uh, we got one more. This is kind of old too. Hashtag office hours. Uh, did y'all watch the Club Shay Shay interview with Gary Owens? Oh, I didn't. Uh, did y'all watch how Gary would make a lot of jokes about Amanda Seals not being liked by the people around her? And the more he would speak all about his relationships, the more it would seem like Gary and Amanda has a lot in common when it comes to fostering relationships. I'm not trying to compare the two, but it's funny. He made a lot of jokes about something about someone not being liked when speaking about all his whole family who don't like him. I didn't watch the Gary audio. Yeah. Shout out Shannon Sharp. I only saw Paul. Yeah, shout out to Shannon Sharp for being able to constantly do these interviews that <laughs> mean something. Yeah. Like, how the fuck does this keep happening? That means do you something. think that they're like masterminding, like, yo, they had Mandel Sis shit gonna go crazy? Or it just happens to happen? I never knew who she was, and I seen some clips from the Sh- Club Shay Shay interview, and holy shit, she is annoying. Yeah, she's a lot. Like, much. whatever she does in her career, I don't know if she's a singer or actor or whatever, like, she better be talented as fuck. Because that bitch annoying. She's a talented. She's definitely a talented actress. That's what she does for sure. Yeah. Never seen she said she was autistic. They're gonna kill you for kill, calling that black queen a bitch too. You know? I'm just let you know. Oh, I'm hip hop. <laughs> that's what we do, right? You ever heard the like nothing but a G thing? <laughs> that's what, yeah. like, that's, <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah. not even a sign of disrespect. That's just how we talk. Yeah, this, okay, yeah. this, this is well, common. Yeah. That's a West Coast thing. Can you go ahead and hit that bell, man? And we gonna take.